What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom and in today's video we'll be taking an in-depth comparison between the best mid-range processor which are the Snapdragon 778G processor and the MediaTek Dimensity 920 SoC. Now this will be an in-depth comparison between both of these processors and which one is really better for you. Now if you are wondering for another processor comparison also let us know in the comment section below and consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom so you never miss an update from us. So now that you have done that, let's get started. Now starting with the launch date of both of these processors, then the Snapdragon 778G was first available in the May 2021, whereas the MediaTek one is launched with the Realme 9 Pro series in February 2022. Now next one is the CPU architecture, both of these processors are indeed an octa-core but the Snapdragon runs on Cryo 670 and MediaTek is based on ARM processor. Now talking about the CPU cores, how efficient are these cores, then the Snapdragon comes with a 1 core of 2.4 GHz of Cortex A78, 3 cores of 2.2 medium range of A78 Cortex and 4 efficient cores of 1.9 GHz of Cortex A55. Now the Mirate Dimensity 920 has a different approach over here. Now it comes with a 2 high performance core with 2.5 GHz of Cortex A78 and 6 cores of 2 GHz of Cortex A55. Indeed the CPU cores are better on the Mediatek Dimensity but where comes the processor fabrications both of these processors are indeed based on 6 nanometer, which means both are decently power efficient when compared to these generations of the mid-range processor. Talking about the GPU for the best gaming option or the better gaming which you will be getting on both of these then they both are different manufacturers so Snapdragon comes with the Adreno 642L whereas the Mediatek comes with the Meet Mali G68 MC4 GPU. Now on the machine learning and the AI side the Snapdragon has clearly mentioned that it, the Snapdragon 778G comes with a hexagon 770 but the Mediatek has an AI accelerator which the exact is not been defined yet. Now the maximum RAM support is 16 GB of RAM of 32 MHz of LPDDR4X on the 778 whereas the Mediatek Dimensity 920 do supports LPDDR5 RAM which is again a crazier one. Now talking about the maximum display resolution or the high refresh rate and even if we talk about the 10-bit displays present on the Snapdragon 778G with a 144Hz of maximum refresh rate at Full HD Plus and with the support of HDR10 Plus content whereas MediaTek simply comes with a QHD Plus of maximum resolution with a 120Hz of high refresh rate which is on the lower side when compared to the Snapdragon. Now maximum camera resolution support with both of these processor can support are the decent one but what really matters is the software which the manufacturer provides. A 192 megapixels of single camera or 32 plus 22 megapixel of dual camera comes with the Snapdragon 778G whereas the MediaTek 920 comes with a 108 megapixels of primary camera and 20 megapixels of dual camera capabilities. Talking about the video then both of these do support 4K resolution at 30 FPS and these MediaTek Dimensity can also support up to 720p at 960 FPS which is again crazy insane at this price bracket of the smartphones. The Bluetooth connectivity of both of these processors have been remained same at the Bluetooth 5.2. There is no change in this mid-range department about the Bluetooth and the 5.2 is decent one to go. Now 5G modems are indeed they both of these processors are 5G so they both comes with the 5G modems and not only that if we talk about the Wi-Fi then Wi-Fi is also similar on both of these phones which is Wi-Fi 6E which is the enhanced version of the Wi-Fi 6. Now the MediaTek do comes with the Wi-Fi 6 with a bit of a lower one but that's not the issue anyhow. Quick charging support, the Snapdragon 778G supports Quick Charge 3.0 whereas the MediaTek comes with its own Pump Charge Express. Now, I'm closing up this with the Antutu scores and the Geekbench, then the Antutu score for Snapdragon is 5,27,000 which is 8% higher than the MediaTek Dimensity which is at 4,88,000. Now, on the Geekbench score side, again the MediaTek does not hold very good much in the single core with a 768 and multi-core of 
2794 which is a decent one at this price bracket of 20 to 25000 rupees now the mediatek dimensity has a 786 of a single core and multi core of 2600 Now what do you think about which of these processor are accord best according to you in my opinion the snapdragon is a decent one and a much reliable one we have seen that processor in lot of smartphones at the price bracket of 20 to 30000 rupees but mediatek dimensity 920 is also not a bad processor and it's a really good one you can also consider buying Now the Realme smartphones comes with the Mediatek Dimensity because we all know that Mediatek processor are a bit on the cheaper side when compared to the Snapdragon ones but the Snapdragon has a better reliability with the smartphones and not only that the phones which comes with the Snapdragon do provide you a better software updates such as you can see on the Samsung Galaxy A53 which supports up to 4 years of OS upgrades which is again insane considering the mid-range smartphone it is Now if you like this video enjoyed this video consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom if you hate it give this video a dislike if you loved it give this video a thumbs up thanks for watching that's been my time and i'll see you in the way next one goodbye